So we, we do a little thing at KDE every year, um, and, it, and it varies. You know, we've got some years it's one, some years it's two. But um, this started, how many years ago, babe? Uh, nine years ago. Nine years ago. Um, why don't you give the history while I sure. get ready? Sure. There was a gentleman at the University of Kentucky, his name was Bill Stilwell. And Bill, for uh, many years, how many people know who Bill still is? He's quite the, quite the character. But this was a, one of the things that we hoped with with the CARE initiative. Um, when it started, is you would have partnerships with universities, and they would play a role in helping do some things. So what Bill did on his own, this was a professor of psychology at the University of Kentucky. Uh, he started what we call listserv service. How many people know what listserv is? It's kind of an older name. But what he did is he created a listserv service for all the English teachers in Kentucky, all the science teachers in Kentucky, all the principals in Kentucky, um, and so on. And he maintained that for years. Now, Bill did not have a huge staff. He had a staff of one himself. He got no additional, he got no additional pay. And if anyone knows Bill, he's kind of a crotchety character if you ever got, got to meet him. But his heart was of gold. And it was all about what can I do uh, to make the K-12 experience better, uh, and what role can I reach out into? So, uh, back in 2008, um, we surprised Bill. We were at the Kentucky School of the Deaf, and I purposely gave him the wrong directions. Um, I purposely told him he had an hour to speak and give an update on what he was doing with listservs, but then when he got there, I told him he had five minutes to speak. So, I, there was always a balance of getting someone so frustrated that they really leave. But I was right on the edge uh, of doing that. But then when, when Bill, and we were live on the air, because we went, we go to a different kind of school district and we, uh, we highlight them. Um, so right before Bill got really upset, I announced that we were going to name an award in his honor to recognize uh, individuals and organizations that have gone above and beyond the call of duty. And it's been a lot of fun uh, to, 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 uh, to do that and, and, and recognize them for that. Um, and we've recognized a wide variety of partners over the past eight years. Now, Bill passed away a couple years ago. Um, and we, we initiated the award when, when he was living in good health. We didn't know that he was on the cups of really bad health. Um, uh, but that his, his, his legacy really lives on with it. So once a year, uh, we, we identify uh, an organization or individual for, for this award. Um, it's the only year. <laughs> I don't normally wear these things. <laughs> it, it, it's the only time of the year that I also put on mine. Um, and these were actually uh, Bill Stilwell's themselves. Um, so before Pitt Bill passed away, he gave me his, his suspenders. And this is how he wore them. He didn't wear them with the belt. He was not making any any chances uh, on, it, on it going bad. I caused uh, so much grief last time I wore my belt and my suspenders for my daughter who saw the picture on Twitter and she's like, Dad, you were in public with suspenders <laughs> and a belt. And, you know, for an 18 year old, that's, you know, she was mortified because her friends saw me on Twitter. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure your friends are following me on Twitter. So when we come, you want to go on, you want to um, So I, I'll, I'll just uh, say that, that uh, this was one of the cool things when I got here. You know, the, I think that and y'all have heard me say this a million times. You know, when you live here, you don't realize the things that we have here that are so good. And we are, the more and more I get into it, the more I believe we're not just a, a national leader around education technology, we're probably a world leader. I mean, we do stuff here in this state that other people just would kill for. Um, and I can't tell you how when I go to a CCSO meeting and I talk about the fact that you know, we're going to look at, um, for instance, our schools that are providing uh, national interest certification to our, our most high need sectors. In fact, we actually have data to show what that is. That we have all of our districts on one student information system. I was on the way to uh, Kentucky. David had reached out and said, hey, could we have a, could, I, could, I, could we talk on your drive? Well, I didn't know that when you commit to a talk with David that Actually, that's a whole drive from Maryland to Kentucky. <laughs> it, was, it was great. 
because, and, and I'm, I, I like kidding, but, but one of the things was I came from a state when I was, the last time I was at a state agency, we had 15 student information systems in Georgia. And y'all, it's awful. To, I mean, you guys, if you've never been in this place where you have multiple systems, you don't understand how bad that is. We were having problems with data dumps. So we, we would literally have times where the principal would go over to the speaker and say, okay, we need everybody to turn your computers off. We're about to do the upload to the state. And everything stopped. So David says we have one student information system. We have one financial system, units. Now I know some people love it, some people hate it. But you know, it, it creates a continuity. And KEDC, and the individual that we're going to, to celebrate today played a big role in, in getting all that rolled out. And, and I think one of the testaments to KEDC, to Kentucky, and to my esteemed colleague and friend here is the fact that it's, this has all been done together. It's not been just top down. So with that, we'd like to honor. Yes. So let me add on to what he said. So, I, so um, Obviously, most of you know that I've been here since the beginning of CARA, and the technology system was a key component of that. It's like the beginning of time. It right? is the beginning of time. Okay. Now, a key component of that, that we had two parts that we had to get out. And, and for those that may not know, Kentucky became the first state in the nation to have high-speed internet access to all the schools and district offices. But also, it's just as important to have the connectivity within those buildings. It's been embarrassing to have the connection, you're not connected inside. So KDC played two huge roles in the early days, really over the past 25 years. The first one was the MUNIS system helping us get it implemented across the state. They were the cooperative and the champion to help us do that, but also with all the wiring within the school buildings, all the network within the school buildings, and it's transitioned over to the wireless. Um, so we are uh, recognizing ADC as one of our Stillwell Award winners this year. So Jerry Prince and the Technology Services Suspenders for you to wear. It's an outstanding partnership. I understand you came in 25 years ago. I did too. We've done some cool things. And thank you for you. And I know there's a lot of other people behind the scenes that have done special things. But we want to recognize the great partnership we've had. Also, being from Eastern Kentucky, this is also extra special uh, to recognize that we've, we've done some good things. We're just not Eastern Kentucky, but the entire state. But we thank you for your partnership and helping us do that. We, we we so appreciate what y'all do, and it, it just makes a big difference for us. If we can get a picture up here, this is uh, we, we also have the ladies' version of the suspenders. So come on up. So we'll be doing a press release. Uh, it's pretty big. It's pretty big deal. We, we did. So whatever the good lighting is. Military guys right here, that's right. Jerry also has a military background like I have, so it's good to have that. Okay. So you all know